great, great man management. Um, he knew exactly what to say before games. He, for me, he was the best an hour before the game at his team talk. He knew exactly what to say. And, and as soon as you finish the team talk, you felt like you could run through a wall for him. Uh, yeah, great man. Manchester United is about commitment. Mm -hmm. You can lead Manchester United by a goal or two goals, but there's always that will mm -hmm. and determination as long as it's not yet 90 minutes mm -hmm. for them to turn the tables and win a game. Oh, that uh, I learned as soon as I arrived there. Like I said to you before, I mean, uh, we trained the way we played, and that was down to the manager, uh, the players, uh, the captain, everyone. Uh, they made sure that uh, training was at such a standard. So when you reach the game on a Saturday afternoon, there isn't much I had to change because that's how I trained. And people ask me, who was the hardest team to play against? I said, my own teammates because they made it so difficult for you in training. So you had to come to training switched on because um, if you not switch on, you, would, you won't last, first of all. And you'll, the manager will have a go at you, the players will have a go at you, Roy Keane, the captain, will have a go at you. So you came to training almost like in a, a match situation and the level was so high. So uh, even be, when I mean, you, you stand in the tunnel before the game at Old Trafford, and you knew already just by looking at your opponent that we're going to be okay today, because you know you've done the work, you're well prepared, and the body, your body language says it all. When you look at your opponent, you can see in the eyes it's, <laughs> it's going to be okay today. <laughs> uh, so Alex has bid farewell mm -hmm. to a team he loved. The team he has succeeded. All the success of Sir Alex came from Manchester United and he's just said farewell mm -hmm. to the team. Do you think his absence will affect the team? Oh, definitely. I mean, he's been here for 26 years. I just spoke to my friends now who still work at, at, at Manchester United and they said to me, um, they've never had any other boss. They've, they've started 26 years ago at the same time as him and they've only known one boss. Um, it's like having a different father now. Exactly, it's 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 very strange, and they don't know what to do. And and the manager has had such a huge impact and huge role at Manchester United. Whereas, I mean, ex players like myself, Dwight York, Andy Cole, and we can walk into Old Trafford, we can walk into Carrington Training Ground, and doors are open for us. We can go and watch training. I can go and train with the reserves. It's, it was just amazing. I can do my coaching badges. That's because of the manager. Um, many things were, were there for us because it's like it's like uh, uh, kids coming home and your father says, go and enjoy the backyard. We, that's what we're able to do. We can go and eat in a canteen, um, sit with the players and, and speak to the players. So it played a huge, huge role. Um, I'm not sure how that's going to change now, but uh, it's, it's going to be hard to, to, to not have him there, but like I said, he's still going to be around the club. But to not to see him every day at, at, at the Carrington, at the training ground, mm. and uh, getting that advice the, with all the wisdom that he's got, um, it's going to be tough. But he's made the decision. I'm sure his family will be happy because he's been here. He's sacrificed so much uh, for so many years, and um, I think it's time for him to have a rest because he's worked so hard for the last few years. When Rooney? Mm -hmm. Oh, for Wayne Rooney, great player. <laughs> yes, great player. And for him, it's like the chapter may also come to an end. And no, it's, it's strange because two years ago there was talks about him leaving as well and uh, things turned around and a new contract was put on the table and it signed. I'm not sure if that's the same situation now where does he really want to leave or is it the contract talk? Is it, you know, it's, it, I tend not to look too deep into it. Um, for me, I wouldn't like him to leave. I would like for him to stay. Um, he's, he's still and end his career there. End his career there. He's got uh, still uh, a huge role to play at Manchester United. He understands what it takes to be a champion. He's, uh, he's, um, he's obviously knows David Moyes from before. And he's, I mean, he's, he's a leader. He's, uh, he's one of the mature players there now. And all these young players like Danny Wallback coming through, Tom Cleverley. There's a few in the reserves, uh, Jess Lingard, there's Adnan. Um, there's a few young players come through and they need good examples. And um, in terms of football, I mean, Wayne is one of the best players in, in, the, in the league, in the Premier League. So 
I hope he doesn't leave, but in football these days, uh, money talks and uh, if there's an opportunity for him to go somewhere else. Before I come to David Moyes, Sir Alex's successor, I want to look at the, the Manchester United Academy, mm -hmm. the reservoir of players that will eventually emerge mm -hmm. and join Manchester United. What is it like? What is the, 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 the reservoir mm -hmm. of talents that are being nurtured at Manchester United that oh. we haven't seen or even known yeah. about them? Oh, I am very fortunate now because I get to work with the babies and already when you see them and what they're capable of doing, it's unbelievable and you can see already with the way the coaches speak of the young players they'll point out to you this is they'll tell you before training just watch this one and uh, you watch and you think wow um, when I was playing in the first team at, uh, at United they asked me to once to do a training session to come and take the young players and do some skills with them and one of the young players was Danny Walbach and I think there are video clips of him there and it's amazing because you watch him as young players you think wow and then years later, they just make the progress and eventually end up in the first team. So I can see that there's a few that I've seen now in, in, in the under-12s and 14s and, and up, up to 17. And I mean, it's, it's just unbelievable, uh, the standard that's there. And um, it's down to the manager, the coaches there. They understand what it takes to be, to create and, 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 and to, to work uh, to help these players to be top, top Manchester United players. Because not everyone makes it. They have so many good players. Only one or two get through, so um, uh, it's, it's for any young player to, to, to go there. I would, if I could take all the young best players here in, in the Gambia <laughs> and give them the opportunity, it would be absolutely amazing because to get that education at Manchester United there, it's, it's priceless. <clears throat> all right, the big one, David Moyes. He's been on Everton most of the time, and uh, this is what Manchester United is looking for a consistent mm -hmm. manager, somebody who will come and stay at the club and uh, manage the club for a long time, mm -hmm. not somebody who comes and wants to get, take glory one season, two seasons and leave. Mm -hmm. Now, how would you assess Moise as the right candidate for the job? Oh, it's, it's, I mean, it's, it's you know, the teams I've played, uh, the Everton teams that I've played over the last few years, and. Um, it's always been tough, it's never been easy. And David Moyes um, is a competitor. And I'm sure the manager played a big role in, in appointing, helping the club get David Moyes because he knows his character. You can see he's a no-nonsense manager. And that's what you needed at the, the club like Manchester United. You're dealing with a lot of big, big players that have achieved a lot of uh, successfully the last few years. Um, and he's going to have to walk in that change room and, and make some big changes. Um, but he's got the temperament. He's got uh, the, uh, I can say, the, the qualifications for this. He's been at Everton for 10 years. He's done well there. Um, and every time they've played United, I don't know if you remember last season, they've given us tough, mm, tough, tough games. Times. So um, he's one of the longest serving managers in the Premier League. So it's, it's not going to be easy. It's never going to be easy for any manager to, 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 to step into Salek's footsteps after he's just left, after he retired. But um, David Moyes is young. Um, if you see the football world now, things are changing. Bayern Munich, uh, they've got Pep Guardiola, they're getting more... Uh, all the big clubs a lot around Europe are, are getting stronger, so it's a... I won't say it's the right time, because it's never, uh, you know, a good time to see Alex retiring, but um, uh, it's, it's young and fresh and hungry. I'm sure he wants success. Mm. And uh, we're better to, to start at Manchester United. <laughs> Alright, finally, you're working on your badge now, mm -hmm. and after your badge, you may decide to do some manage, managerial mm -hmm. responsibilities in England. Any future hope to do it for South Africa, your of country? Of course, this is the ultimate. I'd mm. love to, to coach uh, my national team. Um, Bafana, Bafana. Bafana, Bafana. That's, there's, nothing, there's nothing higher than the, to, 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 to be manager of your, of your national team. But like I said, I want to gain as much as possible, gain as much experience as possible. Because when you do step into that job, you need to have a good few years behind you of, of, of managing a team, of knowing how to deal with players. I've learned so much now from watching the outside how the manager deals with uh, so Alex Ferguson dealt out with his players now, and I've learned, you know, that uh, um, how it's because the football side is easy. He's dealing with individuals, that's the hard part, and uh, he's done it very well for his last few years, and he's had to make big decisions, have to let big players go. Um, if you look at the issue of the club, and people were surprised of some players leaving, but it's about the team at the end of the day, and uh, he's shown that 